So, um, what does it feel like to be back home, so to speak? Well, it's a long drive again. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, it's okay. The, the pitch is it's better than when we left it here, so that's positive. And hopefully, we'll, you'll stay that way for a long time. So, you're only four games out from the end of the season, and hopefully, you've got finals. Um, you've got a massive match on Sunday, which could determine whether you're going to host one or not. A couple of injuries last week. I think Nicola didn't play because of tightness, and then uh, obviously. Or was it Ryan went down with a hamstring problem? How, how are those two boys? Uh, yeah, Nico, he's, he's looking fine. Um, training with us. Um, his training is still out of training, so I don't know how long it will be with him. But yeah, we have some people going out and some people coming in, so all in all, it's, it's looking okay. More responsibility for you, though, in the back, if, if it does change. And you had a good game last weekend, you got Michael working with your Moroni. Um, so you feel, you see, you've, you've lifted your game because you've got that responsibility, you've got to guide everybody in that four or five? No, I think my approach is the same. It doesn't matter who, who you play with. Um, but yeah, it's it's not hard with Miki because he has a lot of experience and he's a, he's a good player. Um, so yeah, it's just, now we've got Kido on the left back last game. Um, that's not usual for him, so you need to, to guide a bit more there. Um, but he is amazing. Um, today in training, he's, he's doing well again on that position, so um, it's, it's, looking, it's looking quite good. So just with Wellington, they've got super quick guys that break, but they don't play central. They, they come in on either flank. Have you worked out how to block maybe the supply first before it gets to the, the super quick men? Because they are very, very quick. Yeah, now yeah, you're working on on different stuff. I'm not going to go into details, but um, we are we are aware of they have some, some speed up top. What are you expecting them to do? Sit back because they've got that three point lead and try to hit you on the counter, or maybe have a crack and see if you're up to uh, fighting back. I think that's the style they do. They're very compact and they're very good at counter. They know what they're good at, um, and and they do that to perfection. So, yeah, I, I wouldn't expect anything else than, than what you see, what they're doing game in and game out. Game out. It, it's, it's very consistent what they're doing and they're, they're very good at it. So, so you need to, to lock that down and, and don't give away uh, easy opportunities for them to, to get in those good positions and go on the counter against you. Just with um, AP last week, I thought it gave you a different point of difference with George seeing just in behind, he makes different runs to obviously what Jordy does and it looked like the team worked better going forward. Is that how you saw it? And maybe will that continue this week? I don't know if it's if if it was better for the team, but um, AP is, uh, is working very hard um, and the players behind will benefit from that. But Jordy is, is the same, uh, so I can't say that one is doing better than the other. Um, they do a, a good job, both of them, when they when they work for the team. So, if it's AP or if it's Jordi or George up top, it's it's up to the coach to to see. Um, I can't say who's doing the better job. In terms of playing against Wellington as well, we've obviously had some good games against them in the past this season. Does that give you confidence that we can get a good result considering we need to? Yeah, of course. Um, but I think they stepped up the game uh, a fair bit, uh, especially recently. The last couple of, of rounds have um, looked very sharp, so we need to do better than what we've done previously against them. Uh, otherwise, we will we'll get in trouble. Um, so we need to be spot on from from the first minute until the end. The weather's going to be good. The deck's going to be good. Are you hoping the crowd is just as good to maybe give you that a little bit extra in the game? Yeah, of course. Uh, I hope we get many people there as possible. It, it lifts us uh, when we have more people um, cheering us on, so hopefully we get a good crowd. Just uh, with the coaches, you know, you've been in the game long enough to know that players don't hang around and, and coaches don't hang around just the way it is, and obviously we know Marco's going, and maybe Mark Rudin is going as well to another club. Does it matter? Like, in, for, for you, for, for, you know, in the way that you set up and Obviously, you get prepared for a game and about who's going to be the boss next season. Do you think that far ahead? No, it's one game at a time. Uh, the coach is thinking the same way. Um, he's here to win. Um, all the players are here to win, so we want to finish off as strong as possible. Um, as much as 
Marco wants some silverware we wanted to so we have to give everything and, and he's doing the same so I can't see any change in attitude with the player though players or the coaches so I'm really happy with that just that first win in a long time last weekend is that like you're now over that little mountain because there was a little bit of a period there maybe the you lost maybe confidence with it as a group and stuff like that you reckon teams over that now no, not at all it's uh, we're trying uh, as hard as we can to to lead into the last games with um, as much com- confidence as possible. But yeah, it's hard when you go uh, five or six games without without winning. So so you you're working all the time. This was a small step in the right direction, um, but we still have to lift more and and, and do better. So there are more good stuff to come. How important is it to beat Wellington to try and secure that home final? Do you see it as a as a, as a big um, thing leading into the finals or home or away still the game oh this is a final for sure it's um, I think we're looking at the at the last four games as, as finals because the quality opponents we have against and it's Wellington City victory they're all around us so leading into the final it would be a good boost to to get out of those games with some wins but isn't that how you like it considering you won the FFA Cup by its sudden death, you know that you're out, you lose it, you're out. Isn't that how the team likes it? Yeah, 100%. Um, we have to look at it as final because if we want to go for fourth spot, um, we need to win. If we lose it, 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 it's nearly not possible. So we need to win it and probably two more games. Uh, so it's going to be very tough, but we're going to give it all to, to reach the, the fourth spot.